everyone welcome back to my channel um we are just gonna open some more tea mail and if you hear noise in the background they're watching a movie so here we are in quarantine <laughs> um so yes i got a package from t forte just thought i would uh open it with you guys Ooh, give you a preview i'm gonna move this to the side because i don't think it's very pretty to look at and what's the first thing I got? Ugh. Small box. What did I order? The first thing I got. Let's move y'all on down here. Small green box. I don't remember what this is. Kotobuki. Oh, matcha whisk holder. Yes. I do not have one. Perfect. Um, this one's got nice little lines in there. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So I did get that. And then I got one big thing, which I'm going to... Okay. Okay. Let me move the box. Not a professional. Let me take it all out for you. Hope everyone is doing awesome. I know that's a little hard to do right now. I'm there with you. Okay, the next thing I picked up, uh, I had a coupon code and I had some uh, T Forte reward points. So I ended up picking up Caramel Nougat. I couldn't remember if I tried this one or not. I bought a sampler box, but this one had a lot of reviews and it had won an award or something. Um, so I thought I would try it because I like dessert tea anyway. Here's what this one is going to look like. The reviews were really good on it. It says black tea, orange peel, natural flavors, marigold. And it's supposed to, uh, a lot of the ingredients are organic. So anyway, yeah. Oh, it's sealed. The only thing I don't like, I know they're sealed for freshness, which is great. But these, in particular, when you take these off, keep the tin sticky. I don't like that. I wish they would find a different way to, like, seal that up. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this beautiful teapot that I ordered. And I don't know much about this other than this is an expensive brand. It is a hard brand to get here in the USA. Um, last year they had this one on their website it sold out every time they put it on luckily one the last batch second to last batch they put on i snagged it up and i paid full price i don't think i got any discounts or anything i had to have it it's really pretty um there is a story behind love ceramics so this is flat but this you can lift off it's got a nice uh, infuser basket. It says Love Ceramics. And there's the inside. The handle is awesome. Lock. So pretty. I love the little spout to it. And then on the bottom, it says Love Ceramics Pro Tea, designed by Simon Stevens 1720. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyway, when this had sold out, I started Googling. I could not find this teapot anywhere. Um, again, this is their Pro Tea teapot. And what I discovered was you have to buy directly overseas. And the teapot to get it shipped over here was going to be like an insane amount of money. The one website I found it on, it was going to be like $150. Something like that. And it just anyway i was really sad so when i got this one i got it um i you can google love ceramics on amazon look at the price of just their cups like a cup and a saucer i think it's like 40 50 dollars um so anyway this is this is what i'm saying is it's really great tea wear um it's designed by someone there's like you can google it i'm not sure who it is but i love the look this is my all-time favorite teapot it stays on my desk with me it matches like my sewing machine and stuff love this teapot so happen to be perusing on um 
T. Forte and they a red one popped up and I was like what and I was so sad because they had a sugar and creamer set that matches this they like stack on top of each other but it was $40 and to be honest I don't use sugar or or <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me sugar or cream in my tea so I couldn't really validate spending $40 just to complete the set so I never got that but I saw this new color and was like, yes, I need this. So here it tells a little bit about it. Designer's profile. Simon Stevens is an award-winning product designer and a driving force in ceramic design. Simon has worked with some of the world's most prestigious ceramic manufacturers and has taught and lectured on the subject throughout the UK. He has headed up design teams for lifestyle brands, now continues his design career in the established Simon Stevens Design Studio based in London. Simon's dynamic creativity resulted in his most successful designs being in the permanent collections of the Victoria and Albert Museum and the Frankfurt Museum of Applied Art. So, just saying really really cool and it tells a little bit more on the back um it says simon has designed teapots with a beautiful sleek spherical form which add in the brewing process by allowing the water to circulate unhindered inside the tapered spout gives a controlled flow of the tea when pouring which then ends with a non-drip feature to catch that last drip the handles are of an ergonomic design that fits comfortably in your hand each piece has its own tea infuser that allows you to control the brewing time so it says this is made of porcelain i did not know that i thought it was ceramic so it is actually Actually porcelain and hand wash oh recommended come on Val like let's not break it you can go to their website yeah good luck with that so on the inside it shows a picture do not pour over the max level leave room between the lid and the tea oh yeah there is a max level inside do not drop in infuser lid quickly watch out you know you don't want it to come out your little spout there Ooh, i've not peeked at this so it it is a deep red it is not super bright i would definitely call it like a deep deep holiday red this is what this one's like yeah. Anyway, it's really beautiful and it does not drip, which I think is so important with a teapot. Like, it doesn't matter how pretty your teapot is, and trust me, I have some that are beautiful if it's going to drip. So, interesting enough, this infuser is different. Check that out. This one's more the basket. This one looks more like a David's T one without the handle, but a little handle in the middle. So that's different already. <gasps> Guys, this one is big. Shut up. It's like a mama teapot. Does it say how big this is? What? I'm looking on the box. Please hold. Not 30 ounce okay jackpot you guys i did not know it was a big mama version to mine <gasps> hold on let me show y'all oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> bonus day look at it y'all can't see me but i'm like doing a happy dance ah i saw these on the website and i was like oh they come in different sizes I mean, I like this one for me. It's personal size. And of course, you know, I love the color. But look at this baby. I'm just looking. I always like to look at the glazing on a teapot. Always like to check it out. I mean, I guess that's the tea geek in me. This one. Are we going to focus? Are you going to do your job? Has like like it's smooth and shiny here but it looks like perhaps the clear coat didn't get like it's kind of textured right here i don't know if y'all can see that 
it's like around this area it's textured and then back here it's smooth and glossy i don't know if y'all can see that makes me wonder if that's why t forte got them i don't know speculation not starting rumors i have no idea love ceramics pro t designed by simon steve stevens this one has so do they all have serial numbers i don't know it doesn't say because my blue one says 1720 and this one says 1436 so i don't know if they're hand numbered but that's pretty cool if it does this handle is quite a bit larger um my hands slightly touch the other one but this one mm -mm, big so it's beautiful overall. I just nitpick everything when, when it comes in, but most people to the naked eye won't even notice that. It just looks like whatever clear coat didn't get on the front as good as the back, but in real life, you, psh, you're not going to notice. Um, that is awesome. Sorry, I am like tea geeking out over here. I did not expect that. I didn't read details because I just thought it was the same size. They just like got them a new color so that's freaking awesome and i want to say this was what the same price they were offering this one but i could be wrong i don't even remember what i paid so don't pay attention to me on that but how cool is that you guys i hope they're gonna start like getting in new colors every now and then because i will buy every single one i'm telling y'all out of all my teapots this is my favorite and i'm sure i will love this one and this is going to be perfect for we've been having a lot of family tea during our quarantine this is amazing so anyway sorry about that that <laughs> this is my tea forte order remember if you like these videos help me out like and subscribe i appreciate that it makes me feel good and i will see everyone in the next upload